Hello YouTube, this is Snillworth, Bring you. Today we'll be looking at the Krayo D&D Warrior, Wolf Guard the Barbarian set. The set contains 26 pieces. On the back of the packaging, we can see the other sets in this wave as well as a preview image of Wolfgar fully assembled. Next, we have Lord Never Ember, the open lord of the Port of Waterdeep. The set contains 27 pieces for Aegis 6 packaging. We can see the other sets that come with this wave as well as a preview of the set fully assembled. So we'll open these in a minute and I'll show you the contents of each box. Out of the box, we have a Wolfgar card which is used in the minigame that Hasbro set up for this set. Next, we're going to take a look at the instruction manual. We have a preview of the set fully assembled and the um, instruction manual is fully colored. On the first page, we have instructions to assemble the minifigure. The next few pages detail the instructions on how to assemble the kibble of this set. The kibble including a weapon rack and a lit brazier torch. Now we have two plastic bags which are sealed. One containing the minifigure and a crayo brick. And the other bag containing the rest of the kibble. I'll assemble the set and I'll be back with a review shortly. Here is Wolfgar, fully assembled with his accessories. So first we'll be taking a look at the minifig. Now Wolfgar has a very nice wolf print on his front chest. The Wolfgar figure also comes with a cape piece which is to accent his wolf logo. This acts as if he has a wolf belt. Unfortunately, there is no logo or printing on the back of his torso. We'll be taking a look at the back of his head, removing the headpiece. Unfortunately, he does not have a second face. So we're stuck with his default face with a very rugged looking Wolfgar, the Barbarian. Now, if you're familiar at all with the crayon minifigures, you'll know that the possibilities on these figures are quite nice as the hands are on ball joints, which gives you a good angle of articulation. Removing the base, we can also see that there is a little hip rotation going on there, and the legs are on ball joints also, giving you the ability to pull Wolfgar in quite the number of poses. Be it fighting Drow, fighting alongside Drist, the other crayon minifigures, or just basically posing him in your display cabinet. Next, we'll be taking a look at the weapon rack. Now, the weapon rack can hold all of his accessories, including his battle hammer, his helmet, and his sword. Taking a quick look at the helmet here, we can see that the helmet is made out of that metallic paint finish. There are very nice details molded onto this helmet, including some of those chain links or chain plates on the back. Now we can try to remove Wolfgar's yellow headpiece and add in the helmet. As some of you are well aware that Creo has sometimes quality issues having tight or loose joints on their parts. But there we go, we're a little successful and we have a very battle hardened ready Wolfgar. Attaching his battle hammer now, we can actually pose him in some very decent battle poses given that his arms are on ball joints. We have a very fierce barbarian before us. Now let's try to give him his sword. Get some dual wield action in there. There we go, Wolfgar the Barbarian, ready to take on anything. Next we'll be taking a look at his last accessory. He has a torch or a lit brazier. It comes with a few pieces, but what I find most interesting about this piece is the glowing flame. And lastly, we have a red crayo brick. for Wolfgar. 
Next, we'll be taking a look at Lord Never Ember. Now, the same thing comes out of the box, his card for the minigame. And we have two sealed plastic bags, one containing the minifigure. And the other containing the kibble of the set, which is mainly his throne. So we'll assemble him in a bit, and I'll get back with the review. Quite sure. So here we have Lord Never Ember, completely assembled, the minifigure, and the throne. So first we'll be taking a look at Lord Never Ember, the minifigure. Now Lord Never Ember has some very nice printing on his front chest, some lion sigils, and a belt. And he even has some gold platings on his legs. I'm not sure whether that's the armor or some dress. But unfortunately on the back, there's no printing at all. And Lord Never Ember only comes with a crown. So if you're not going to give him his crown, he's just going to be some bald crayon figure. Now he comes with a sword, which is the same from Wolfgar. And he has a chalice for when he wants to drink wine and battle at the same time. As always, he has ball joints on his arms and ball joints on his legs. Giving him decent possibility and some rotation at his, rib, at his hip. Setting him aside, we're going to take a look at the throne. Now there's not much going on with this throne it does have adjustable armrests on the left and on the right and the back is adjustable too and the, the reason that's adjustable is so that you could get Lord Never Ember in a seating position easily so we'll just take the minifigure now and we'll try to pop in in his throne Sometimes the ball joints do prove a little difficult to get the figure inside these accessories. There you go. So we have Lord Ever Ember sitting in his throne of power, the open lord of Waterdeep. And lastly, we have a Crayo brick that comes with this set. So thanks for watching. This was Nilworth, and click like if you like this review, and make sure to hit that subscribe button.